Hello, members. Okay, so we're on to potatoes and salt here. Fukushima on the fly, uh, number six. So, as you can see, I'm still doing potatoes. Uh, remember those 200 pounds of potatoes that I bought? Well, I'm still doing them. I'm down to my last maybe 50 pounds. And then I, I came across uh, some... Uh, what, these, these ones are russet potatoes. And I'm, I've already started to, to uh, kind of put them away here. I'm, what I'm doing is I'm bagging them up. And... Um, in, in brown paper bag first and then eventually what I plan on doing is probably for the ones that are going to go into long-term storage maybe for a year or two or whatever I'm going to take this out of the bag and then I'm going to wrap it up in tin foil and then I'm going to seal it with one of those sealers that suck out the air um, I'm not using any um, any of those uh, oxygen packs partly because I don't know where to find them and uh, you know this is just getting a little bit too much here for me to be spending spending so this this stuff is going downstairs this is this is rice that I bought in the duration of the last seven months so for some reason the Japan nuclear reactors really blow their tops I have an independent food source that uh, my family can survive on for at least a year maybe two if they stretch it out and uh, I've got rice everywhere, but I think what we're going to do is we're going to start moving a lot of this stuff downstairs. I've already got everybody prepared um, to start making plans to start moving this down because it's getting in my, it's really getting on my nerves. <laughs> so um, I came across some food safe buckets. So this is good. Obviously the rubber, rubber made bins, these are not food safe. So, um, you know, I may line this with newspaper and then put the food back in for long term storage. You know, for those people that want to, uh, you know, think about, you know, plastic leaching and that type of thing. But uh, I did come across some, some food grade buckets that are, are quite nice. And so I'm starting to fill them up a little bit. I'm going to be taking what I have in there. And I have a few more of these buckets out on my porch. Um, at one point, I bought lots and lots of beans. So I think maybe over the next little while, a while could be a long time or it could be a short time. But I may take these out of their plastic bags and do some, something similar like the paper bag and if for, for long-term storage you know not something that I'm going to use but if I'm going to put it away for a while then I may just uh, because other otherwise than that I have in this bin here I have like so many different kinds of beans that um, I might want to repackage them so um, I stocked up in a lot of rice I got rice there, rice there, rice there. I got rice in the bin down there. That That's all rice. I got a bag of rice over there. And there's some different types of rice, like this kind of rice. You know, buy them on sale. Right? So, cheaper to buy them on sale. I think regular price for this loan by itself was something like um, um, maybe 14 bucks. On sale, you might get it anywhere from 9 to 11 bucks, depending on the brand. So, you know, when I find them on sale, I buy quite a few. This is a new crop from, I can't remember where, Taiwan, I think. So, uh, when I was in the cash register line, the lady was saying, Oh, I don't get it from Taiwan. I get it from um, um, another part of the, um, what was it? I can't remember the name of the country. It wasn't Taiwan. Let's just see. Let's pull up. This is product of, yeah, this one's product of Taiwan. And this I like. The way this was packaged, the way I bought it from the store, because this has the oxygen pack and it's nicely sealed. Um, what I found, though, is the bag itself ripped very easy, so you have to be careful when you're transporting. So whenever I can come across food that's like been vacuum packed like this already from 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 the outlet, the retail outlet, that I prefer to buy because especially if I'm going to go long term. Um, in terms of food dehydrating and stuff like that, you know. Uh, I think here's some more. This is this is my potato starch. I even managed to get potato starch, so I'm looking forward to the gravy. I got quite a few packs there. There's three of them there. This I bought at a discount store for two dollars and fifty cents. This is dried potatoes with some sort of uh, uh, corn starch and whatnot in there to make it like a pancake, right? Whereas mine are just dehydrated and being packed as is this one here will be packed as is into a paper bag and then like I said I'll probably end up vacuum packing something you can see here's three more all right there's three more there I got potatoes all over the place 
that's all potatoes, 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 potatoes. And then I came across some white potatoes because I was in the middle of doing white potatoes before I came across the rusted potatoes. So I came across some white potatoes for uh, six dollars and, uh, or sorry, two ninety nine for a ten pound bag, which was good. So this all too is going to be start putting away because I want to open this up. So I thought I'd just do this quickly. This is a cereals, you know. This one here is a ground flax seed, things like this, you know, easy to store. Right, I got my sugars in that one, a little fancier sugars. I'm trying to, you know, maybe bring in, uh, get away from the glucose, try and get away into the glucose. So, you know, buy organic, you know. So at some point, maybe I'll mix the organic, the organic brown sugar in with the blueberries or with the uh, blackberries over here. So I haven't put those away yet. They're still sitting there. So, so anyway, Fukushima on the fly. Um, you know, when you try and solve one problem, you end up creating another problem, and I certainly did create myself a problem here. So it's time to take the problem and kind of put it away off to the side. And uh, in the event of something really bad happening, my family has food to uh, sustain itself on. You know, I'm a little, little shy on the water, water storage yet. Haven't quite figured that one out. Um, and uh, reaching out into my community. They say you need to reach out into the community and get your, your neighbors involved with disaster preparedness. So, um, you know, obviously my time is limited. I'm very maxed out with a lot of things in my life right now. So, uh, for the neighbors on YouTube, you know, if you're not ready for any form of disaster, whether it's for uh, uh, an earthquake or, you know, something like that, or in, in this case, you know, a nuclear fallout, that uh, has happened to some degree and is continuing to happen to some degree and could get worse you know in all probability there's a possibility of it getting worse so if you haven't started preparing for that I highly recommend that uh, that you should do so so uh, check in later peace out